We back with another tape boogie. It's a snippet though, 41 seconds. I ain't gonna talk too much in the beginning. Y'all already know how I feel about her from the very first video all the way up until now, man. We gonna keep shit going. We ain't gonna stop this shit. This shit on the flow. Let's check this shit out. I don't know what the fuck this shit sound like. I saw it on my Facebook timeline. And you know when you scroll through Facebook, the audio don't play unless you click the play. So it was on my timeline and it was muted. So I'm like, I'm gonna react to it. Fuck all that. Listening to it first. I'm gonna react to that shit. So we about to check this shit out, man. 41 seconds. Bitch, I'm with Trill. When you see me, we can get it in the field. Stand on how you feel. I ain't feeling no fear. You can meet me in the city. We can get it anywhere. I ain't finna spare no feelings for you pussy ass bitches or you ratting ass niggas. Be aware. Really, I don't care. You be scared. Going crazy on my line. When I see them, all they do is stop and stare. Smoke me in the air. If we saying that it's up, it's really there. Niggas tough was completely unaware. Boy, you was a bitch. I can see it in your face. Said I'm on his way. Stay in a runner nigga place. Bitch, you a disgrace. Heard you know to run away. A local dermatologist. She like it on her face I'm rarer than the state And we shipping out of state You wanna know the sauce My recipe on the way They wanna know my name Real niggas just call me Tay It's some bullies in my lane Ain't none of you niggas safe Know your place nigga. At first I thought that was a hook I think that's I think some of that Is like a hook Mixed with like the verse plan I don't really know what to say man I say the same thing Every video Uh I remember them conversations where she was like, man, I just want people to fuck with me and I hope they fuck with it. Not on no begging type shit, but just like, you know, when a person puts so much into their craft, they just won't, they just won't, they want to feel people that fuck with their craft. You know, when a person make a song, the whole objective of making a song is for people to feel what they saying. From the beginning of her first song, she just wanted motherfuckers to feel what she was saying. And the whole city feels what she's saying. When I have conversations with people, whether it's in private or in Facebook statuses or public uh, Instagram uh, uh, comment sections, the main female that they all talking about is her. Like, she got a real open lane. It's a lot of females that rap in Michigan. But in the underground, she got a real open lane, especially in Flint, not gonna lie. She got a real open lane because she's super consistent. And she's doing some shit that's different. She's like really rapping, rapping. She's not trying to sing. She's not trying to use auto tune. She ain't too much on that soft shit. That's different from women, you know? She on that, she, she on some street shit. Like, I can't even think of a time where we had like a street female come out of Michigan. Like, I know the brat from Chicago, Illinois, that's in the Midwest, but that's not Michigan. But uh, she was like low key on some street shit. But like Tay Boogie is on some street street shit. And it's and it's 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 it's, it's accepted. You know, you know them little you know some girls they rap that street shit, but it's like uh, I don't I don't know if I believe you. Tay is a believable like a believable person like Tay rap like she a really like do the shit she talking about and I don't put it past her. I wouldn't fuck with Tay if I was you. I wouldn't get on Tay bad side. A lot of rappers have images, but also a lot of rappers are just being themselves. You can tell Tay don't got an image. Usually, a person with an image is trying to sell you something over and over and over and over. All of her songs ain't the same. So she's not trying to drill some shit into your mind. Believe me, I'm a gangster. Believe, believe I'm really about that life. Believe I'm I'm a, I'm a real nigga. That's not what she's trying to do to y'all. She's trying to drill in your brains. I got talent. Listen to this shit. That's what she's trying to give y'all, and that's what she been giving us since 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 uh cut the check. I remember when I heard cut the check, man. That <laughs> when I heard. I spit in that bitch face, told bro to grab them woods because it's time to stuff this AP. Ooh, baby, I knew she was a lyrical beast. Like, I knew she was on a whole nother level. You know how hard it is for niggas to do that type of shit? Niggas, like, it's literally hard for dudes to do that type of shit. So to see it, I never heard a girl rap like Tay. And I've been listening to rap since I was born. I'm a 90s baby. I've been listening to rap literally since I was born. Never heard a female 
rap like her. Not saying that there's none out there, but they're not in the mainstream. And of course, Tay not in the mainstream yet, but she from my city. So of course, I'm gonna hear her before the mainstream here. But when the mainstream here, I wouldn't be surprised if she don't end up. I'd be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if she ended up ghostwriting for other rappers that want to rap that gangster shit, like Easy E. Easy E was a real gangster, but he couldn't put his life into rhyme patterns, so other people did it, and then he developed his own style and started to write some of his own shit. But in the beginning, Easy, from what the story is, is told. He didn't write his own shit because he was really a gangster. Like he didn't have time to be, he didn't have the not time, but he didn't have the the ability to have that talent to form his street life into lyrics. Tay Boogie can put her life in lyrics. And I wouldn't be surprised if she was able to put other people's life into lyrics either, man. So shout out to Tay Boogie, man. I can't wait till this full song drop. If you go watch her uh, Admire to Inspire interview, she said she got a project on the way. I don't know what it's called. I don't know when it's dropping. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if she hit me up and told me. I still wouldn't tell y'all niggas, though. I ain't gonna lie. I would keep that shit a secret unless she wanted me to announce it. But most of the time when people tell me they shit, they be like, don't don't say it in the video. Don't let the, don't let the people know. So... When I find out some shit that she want me to tell y'all, I will tell y'all. But go watch the uh, Admire to Inspire, Reese, Tay Boogie. They was talking that shit on there, man. They We need a follow-up interview because of that list they did. We need a follow-up. You know, somebody need to interview them about the list. I was on the list. So, you know, I appreciate it, you know. But, yeah, that's it, man. I'm out.